if someone was trying to wrap their mind around like, like what type of process here is it suitable for automation or what would you say i mean anything suitable is, is is look what you're doing on you know what do you do on a daily basis you know what do you do when you turn that computer on what do you do you know what do you know you, what you're gonna do before you even do it <laughs> right yeah. uh, those yeah. things could probably be um automated right so every business is different so there's a bunch of them that you can do you can say hey go invoice processing inventory management bank reconciliation data scraping all this different stuff we can say whatever we want to because we do all it does all that right mm -hmm. but for us to for people to really get a feel for it like we can talk about processes we always talk about hey we can do this process we do that process but it's not until the feeling comes in where they can see it. So mm -hmm. we don't care about the process. We care about the feeling. So once we figure out how was this going to impact them, yeah, that's the process we want to do. And we've been told backwards, oh, you can't do this, do a little hanging fruit, do, do this thing. No, because they're going to get more time and energy into this if it's more of a pain for them, yep. first of all. Yep. Second of all, is that once we do it, the benefits that they're going to be able to see out of that, they're going to be able to understand how it can impact the whole company within that part. Within, mm -hmm. the, within their their capabilities right so that's what that's what sort of made us a little different and this one when we start seeing how how fast it duplicated like okay we're on to something now it's the education mm -hmm. it's, it's it's that get that 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 pain that that point that process out of the way and give them the education and game over game over 